now we have our scene into Unity, it's interesting to note that although the communication between Unity and uh, Lightwave is strictly one way from Lightwave to Unity, it means that we can also go in to Lightwave, make changes to our scene, save it, and then come back to Unity to find those changes have taken place in Unity as well. This gives us a huge amount of possibilities for creating animation in our scene and for creating movements that are difficult to achieve in Unity. What we want to do now though is actually create something that looks a little bit better than this standard thing and also if we hit play this is not a very interesting scene. So let's come out of play again and the first thing we're going to do is add a character controller into our scene and as you can see he's right off there in the distance so let's just change this to zero 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 and then as we can see the character controller is being cut in half by the floor which means that when we press play he's just going to fall endlessly so what we need to do is just lift him so he's above the floor in all senses there we go. now when we press play he'll drop down onto the floor and he'll stay there okay so now we actually have something of a game we can get rid of this main camera as well because it's not going to be used and hit play and there's our scene but and I'm using the standard keyboard controls of WASD on a QWERTY keyboard I can also use the curse keys to change my position as I like and I'm using the mouse to look around uh, it's still not great though, it's very flat and we need to get some light in here because at the moment it's just lit with an ambient intensity so to do that we'll come in here and we can see that there are there's the Lightwave camera and the two lights that we had in the Lightwave scene as well they have absolutely no function in Unity whatsoever other than they are great placeholders for uh, Unity lights rather than um, the, the lights in Lightwave so let's take Light 1 and we'll add a component to it rendering light and at the moment it's right off there in the background so there's no good to us to have a point light because it's the same as in Lightwave we'll make it a directional light which is the equivalent of Lightwave's um, distant light the intensity is a bit high so let's reduce that somewhat and now when we play our game we've got a bit more detail there's a bit more shading showing how the game is differentiating between the different areas of the um, the scenery um, you can see here shadow type no shadows we can try changing it to hard shadows uh, only in real time pro okay uh, what about soft shadows no again unity pro needed so we're stuck with no shadows so how do we get around this I mean we can leave it as it is and it looks okay but I'm sure there's something we could do better than that um, what we'll do is try to bake some better shadows and we'll look at that in the next chapter. Take care.